Uh, Tim, apparently this is one time where we have to pay attention to our terminology. I, it looks like a crossover to me. <laughs> or maybe a one of those mini SUVs or something like that. Ed Wallace, some people bristling at that terminology. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with it. For whatever reason, BMW will not call their vehicles an SUV for sport utility vehicle. They want to use the term a sports activity. So it's a SAV instead of an SUV. And in fact, well, there used to be this car company called Saab. You might remember it. For many years, they had a unique design, four doors, and a hatchback in the back. And everybody said that's just too quirky for American taste. Well, Saab went away, and suddenly Honda would come up with something like the Cross Tour, and BMW came up with the X6. Now, it's a little bit of a turtle design to me, and I questioned it when it came out in terms of that design. And yet, over in Russia, they were going nuts trying to buy X6s, and BMW had to warn American dealers, don't sell your cars over in Russia. Well, we have a smaller version of it, and this is the X4. Base price on it's about $45,000, and that's pretty good. You have a couple engines, an inline four-cylinder that puts out 240 horsepower, or an inline six, which this has, at 355 horsepower. And I want to go on record and say right now, when you're driving this car and you hit the acceleration, it's one of the smoothest and fastest power curves of any car I've ever been in. For those of you who like to drive fast, this one's pretty cool. Now, when you go to the inside of it, you get what you expect with a BMW. The dash looks very, very similar to other models, and it functions the same way. You have a center screen that has your navigation that is nice and wide, which is nice. The air conditioner blows freezing cold on this vehicle. And the noise level, believe it or not, it's a little noisier than I thought it should be, but it's not irritating for whatever reason. You've got plenty of room for five people in this, even though it's got more of a compact design. And then going to the back, where hatchbacks don't always sell, the functionality of them can't be denied. You can put the seats down, you can put as big a box as you want in there. Overall, there's a lot of function. But as we know in America, we'll take style over function almost every time. So, the driving experience. This is an M series in the X4. And I've never really been a fan of the BMW M's before. It's a cult. They're fast driving cars, but they've always been a little rough to me. Not this one. This one had as good a balance of any BMW I've ever been in. And as I said, if you're one that likes to get up and move and have instant acceleration, this one flies. 45000 on the base price. This one with an M-Series is $67,000. we will see if the design works this time. With that, have a good weekend. Mm, okay. You too. Thanks, Ed. And you can listen to Ed on 570 KLIF tomorrow. His car column is always in Saturday's Fort Worth Star-Telegram.